we're gonna start with some ankle mobility so we're just kind of stretching it out getting them fluid and warmed up because you know there's just a lot of ankle involvement with these get-ups and i don't want to neglect any part here so today i'll be performing about five reps for each little movement um but feel free to like feel it out you know if two feels good today or maybe three like feel it out roll with what your body's telling you and always you know if anything's speaking to you take a moment rest relax um we can always hop back into it but we are starting today kneeling on the ground completely so we're already getting right on into it with the hips the knees the ankles everything and we're just going to start with these kneeling ups whatever you want to call them we're going to kneel up <laughs> and then sit back down so just getting some movement with the hips with the knees everything i always suggest doing this stuff without shoes uh barefoot the better right i happen to have my grungy socks on so i apologize um and we're going with five reps of these guys before we start bringing the feet into it here we go let's tuck those toes we have flex feet unflexed and we're going down coming back up so five reps of these we're pulling that belly into the low back so no sucking in no holding your breath nice you know i wouldn't say completely deep breaths but a good breathing pace as we roll through these movements never hold that breath especially for the pelvic floor too so we have these feet we're flexed we're unflexed and we're going to roll right into a half kneel position so i'm going to be working on one side and then you'll repeat this video for the other side we're going to bring that foot up knee above that ankle and we're doing these circles so these hip circles ring them up and around feel free to go at your pace getting that movement that full range of motion and again no arching of the back or any kind of excessive tucking in or pelvic tilt we want to keep a nice neutral spine in that lower lumbar we're going to finish this up right here and take a little bit of a rest you know definitely get some movement into the neck the upper back make sure everything's relaxed and free to move at ease nothing stiff or tense or talking to you um, we are going to start standing up here next so we're going to go right back into that half kneel position same situation and we're going to flex that back foot we're going to stand up nice and tall nice and straight beautiful so we're not going to forward propel ourselves we don't want to do anything like that um and we're gonna exactly how i'm showing you we don't want to do that <laughs> so flex and unflex that foot don't forward propel and we're going to stand up nice and straight think about posture think about pulling that pelvic floor in together like a corset right nice and natural neutral curvature of the spine and feel free to widen out your base nothing too narrow and we're doing five of these repetitions with the tuck and the untuck of that foot standing up nice and straight these should feel good nothing should be hurting or straining and if it is we need to take a look at that all right so we are going to start adding everything together up next including that hip circle so we'll untuck we're going to add in this hip circle behind us sit it down and come right back up for the tuck bring that hip circle up and stand up nice and tall beautiful so five of these guys um, and I do have a little bonus for you at the end. We're going to add a step forward, but for now, we're just coming up and we're coming down, taking it at your pace always, okay? So whatever repetition number you are at today, we work towards keeping that number or increasing it. You know, of course, unless there's a day we need to honor rest and relaxation, we always adjust and remain flexible. Alrighty, so just finishing up these last couple of reps, uh, we are going to add in <laughs> that forward step. If you're with me, if not, that's cool. Save this for another day. But if you're with me, let's roll. So we're going to do the same exact thing. But when we stand up at the top, we're going to take a step forward without propelling yourself forward. So that head should stay pretty much above, you know, your heart, your hips as we start moving forward with intention and you are also taking that step back so feel free to hold on to the assistance you can use a different height of an assistance for this because we are kind of throwing ourselves a little bit off balance taking a step forward but play around the goal is eventually be hands-free that's the goal that we could do this in the middle of the floor no problem standing on up 
getting right on back down, going forward, moving back, whatever we need to do, our freedom is functionally fit. We'll put it that, or functionally fit is whatever, you know what I'm talking about. (laughs) All right, my love, this has been awesome. Let's just cool it down a little bit. Some hip circles, whatever's feeling good. I always like getting movement in the pelvic floor and the hips, especially with get-ups because it's just such a tight area that when we're sitting all day, we really don't put this movement in. So lots of stuff's just kind of floating around and we want to move that out, right? We want to move that out, dropping out of the head, into the body, out of the body, into the earth. All right, you're going to repeat this on the other side. It's been a pleasure. I've had so much fun. Um, And I can't wait to keep rolling with your movement journey. Have a beautiful day. Lots of love. Honor that body. Lots of fluids. See ya.